In this video, we are going to implement UNET using TensorFlow, where we are going to replace its encoder part with a pre-trained VGG19 architecture. Hey friends, this is Nikhil Tomar and you are watching Idiot Developer. So let's start the code. Here we have our model.py file. And within this file, we have imported all the layers that is convolution layer, batch normalization layer, activation layer, and more. Next, we have imported the model class. After that, we have our VGG19 architecture, which we are going to use as the pre trained encoder. Okay, so let's start. So, first of all, you're going to build the convolution block. In your unit, we basically use two 3x3 three three con convolution layer, and each convolution layer is followed by a relu activation. But in between those layers, that is convolution. And the active relu activation we're going to use a best normalization layer also at, at the implement at the time the original unit paper there's no batch normalization but later we have adapted and started using batch normalization let's start it one block and you take two parameters as input first is the input feature map let's call it inputs and second is the number of filters what is the number of output channels that is 128 2, 6 more first is the convolution layer number of filters then tunnel size that is 3 adding is equals to c and input is the input feature map inputs next is the batch normalization okay x as the input x basically means the output of the convolution block Next is the relu activation. Activation and within this we can write relu. And it take output of the batch normalization as the input. Again, these three layers are going to be remain remain the same. And input is going to be changed from inputs to x, that is output of the activation function. And this function is going to return x, that is output of the second relu activation for function okay so first let's start building the architecture that is build vgg19 unit mm, it's going to take input shape as the parameter so first of all we're going to define the input layer inputs is going to be input and it take input shape as the parameter okay next we're going to load our pre-trained vgg19 model let's call it pre-trained vgg19 model okay now let's say vgg19 equals to we have already imported vgg19 at the top you can see yeah, this is VGG19. So, so first of all, we don't want to include the top. Head. Include top is equals to false. We don't want the classifier uh, within this architecture. So weights as we want. We are using it because it's only to train on some in on the ImageNet data set. So we want to load the weight. That is most important. Without weight, we won't use it can still use it without loading weight but for my preference i am going to load the weight input tensor is equals to inputs that is the input layer we have specified here so this layer is going to act as input for this okay spelling mistake it's going to be tensor so here we're going to extract the skip connection let's say skip connection because we have our encoder here that is this is vgg19 is the encoder so let's get a summary of this encoder after that we're going to extract the skip connection okay let's get to the bottom and let's call this function name is equals to main and here let's first type the input shape let's say the shape is 256 by 256 by 3 okay extra comma is there 
okay shape is defined next model is equals to build which is a 19 unit and it take input shape as the parameter now let's run this Python 3 okay Okay, so some information from the tense. Okay, so we have this VGG19 encoder architecture. So it takes the input as 256 by 256 by 3, and the last output is 8 by 8 by 512. The last output which I have. It does not include the classifier, and these are the total number of trainable parameter and the non trainable parameter also zero. Okay, so from there we're going to extract the skip connection of various shapes like this this is going to first skip connection of the shape 256 by 256 by 64 next is going to be 128 and this and like this we're going to extract four skip connection from the here so let's start it so we're going to say skip connection is going to be s1 first you're going to call it s1 vgg19 dot get layer and within this get layer we're going to specify the name of that layer and we're going to say output okay so like this we need four skip connection so let me copy paste it and rename it okay. so first and the shape of the first skip connection is going to be 256 by 256 that is the shape of the original input so block one underscore con two So we're gonna paste it here. Next is so now a pooling operation would be there and the size reduces by two. So next is two uh, 128 by 128. So this is block two underscore one two. Okay, so we've reached the size of 128 by 128. Then we're gonna reach the size of 64 by 64. And here we have block three underscore con four. And the last skip connection is of size 32 by 32. So here you can see the block 4 underscore cone 4. So we have this first skip connection of various sizes. First is 256, second is 128, third is 32, and the fourth one is no, no, third is 64, and the fourth one is 32. Okay now we're also going to extract the bridge which is connect which connect the encoder and the de decoder from this vgg19 only the bridge okay let's say b1 is equals to vgg19 dot get layer and output so bridge is going to be 16 by 16 so it's uh, block 5 underscore con 4 so these outputs these are basically output of the relu activation function from the vgg19 architecture so now the encoder and the bridge are complete now we need to work on the decoder part okay so this is of size 16 okay so let's build the decoder block first So decoder block is going to take the input feature map then skip connection fee feature map skip features then it's going to take number of out filters that is the number of output channels so it first start with a 2 by 2 transpose convolution one 2d transpose first the number of filters second a 2 by 2 kernel size next fried and padding going to, going to remain the same same inputs next we know concatenate uh, the output of the transpose convolution and the skip feature maps concatenate okay. first is going to be x that is output of the transpose convolution and second is skip feature Next is going to follow the convolution block that is 2 3 by 3 convolution. 
that is why we already have uh, written the con block so we don't have to write the same part again and again x num filters so now we're going to return x that is the output of this convolution block so we're going to have four decoder blocks okay so g1 is going to be decoder block so we have four decoder blocks so we're going to copy it four times and we're going to rename them d2 d3 d4 okay so first of all d1 take the input b1 that is the output of the bridge so here b1 is like 16 by 16 and it passes through this transpose convolution okay it doubles it's in its heightened bit so it became 32 by 32 next is going to concatenate with the skip connection so 32 by 32 is going to concatenate with this feature map of the same size that is 32 by 32 so that is why we're going to input s4 here okay and the number of output feature map would be 512 so like this the input for the next and the decoder block would be output of the previous decoder block that is d1 and the skip connection would be here like s3 because here the output would be 32 by 32 32 so 32 doubles became 64 so here the size would be 64 and it's going to concatenate with a feature map of size 64 so s3 and a number of filters would be 256 that is reduced by 2 by half and divide by 2 like this here the input would be d2 and s2 and 128 okay and it would be of size 128 and in the last decoder we would reach our original input size that is 256 by 256 and here the input would be d3 1 and 64 okay so we reach our original size that is 256 and this is the original input size that is 256 by 256 where the output is 256 by 256 by 64 let me print you here for you d4 dot shape so my prediction is that it should be let's say batch size by 256 by 256 by 64 so we're going to see if there's any error or anything okay, before that let me remove this summary okay there's nothing called block 5 con 4 okay there's nothing called block 5.4 and why is this so we're going to need this page 19 summary again and we're going to get some error again so block 5.4 what is this block 5.4 okay this is 16 by 16 here we have block 5.4 see this is 16 by 16 and why it doesn't taking this block five okay there is space here that's the issue simple issue nothing more so you should also make sure that you don't do mistakes like me so hey we are with the output size so you can see none that is the batch size 256 by 256 by 64 now you can see the same 256 by 256 by 64 so now we're gonna um, predict the segmentation mask by passing it to a one by one convolution layer and then a sigmoid activation function so output so let's say outputs is equals to one two d number of output filter would be one because we are building a binary segmentation problem here if you have more than one class then you can write let's say you have 10 class you can write 10 here but if you are working on binary problem number of output number of output filters would be one and the activation is going to be sigmoid and if it is more than one class then it's going to be number of classes as the number of filters and the softmax as the activation activation function so number of output feature map would be one and kernel size would be one by one padding is going to be same and activation is going to be sigmoid activation is sigmoid 
to d4 as the input now model is equals to model the model class which we already imported and above it take input layer and the output layer output and we can also provide the name say vgg19 underscore u net okay and we're going to return the model so here we have it's written the model so we're going to see this summary of the model so let's run this again and see if we have our okay so you can see we have our vgg19 model ready vgg19 unit architecture it is a pre it's a pre-trained architecture so you can see the input size is 256 by 256 by 3 it take an rgb image and it passes through the pre-trained encoder then the bridge and then the decoder blocks and it gives an output of 256 by 256 by 1 so that's all about the unit architecture with a pre-trained vgg19 as the encoder so i hope you find this video helpful make sure that you like it and subscribe to my channel thank you have a nice day